And the last target on No More Heroes was... Oh, I just don't have all seven. What? The game just cra- It just crashed. The game crashed. Great. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to No More Heroes. Last episode, we took down Shinobu, which I do still feel kind of bad about in a weird way. Like, maybe she was a murder lady and murdered a bunch of girls just sitting around in a classroom for almost no apparent reason. So, maybe I don't feel that bad, because she was kind of being a big dumb baby about the whole thing. But, either way, we learned some stuff about Travis's quote-unquote master, which he only met through videotapes that he's watched. <laughs> Um, and it kind of gives a little context to how he wields his weapon, but it's kind of a, it's kind of a write-off, you know? You have someone who's trained directly under them, and they lose to some loser who bought an eBay beam katana and started killing people, you know? It just seems a tad bit unrealistic, and I don't mean to say that this game is, like, realism at its peak or anything, but it does seem a bit off. Um, either way... I did actually manage to get every upgrade for the current beam katana, and I made a little extra money. And we just paid off the thing with 136,000 to spare. Which means we can go back to the hotel and get our next mission. It really does make me wonder though. How many of you guys actually... I'll talk about it in a second. Is she in a war zone? What the hell's going on over there? Jeez, don't leave me hanging on Why is she in like a literal war zone? Either way, um, I'm, I'm curious about like the design themes of this game. Oh, the cat's jumping out of the bed and then fell asleep. <laughs> I got distracted. I I'm curious about the whole, like, design theming around this game, and by that I mean, like... What do I mean? I mean, the in-between things between these big missions are fun to me. I'm having a lot of fun with them. Uh, but is that, like, the consensus here? It does seem a little weird that you'd play on your game like, Okay, we have these cool action events. It's like, what do you do in between? It's like, I don't know. Pick up some trash. Do whatever, I guess. <laughs> And I do find the mini games honestly, to be fun. They're a nice change of page from going in a building, slicing some dudes down, and then fighting an extremely tough boss. But some of the K Entertainment missions feel... not great. Like that one I played last episode, I'm not sure if there's a way around it, but that mission, there was like four dudes shooting at me, and I could hardly even move, let alone get up, even if I was blocking. And the moment I went to unblock to swing at someone, I'd just get shot again. I had a really tough time even getting the bare minimum on that mission. So I don't know if perhaps I was doing something wrong or that mission is just hell. Either way, it's time to go. Oh, a letter under our door. Dear Travis, the next ranker is one dangerous dude. There's no going home now. You set foot on the path of a real man. No amount of tears can wash away that choice away. Now hurry on to the subway. Get on a train and find him, waiting. Put your life on the line. A subway, huh? You know, a lot of these people choose... I, I guess Shinobu's location wasn't that off since she's wearing kind of like a school uniform almost. I just ran over some lady, but that's not our problem. We're Travis Touchdown and we do what we want. All this being said, I don't think Travis would take on a mission to, like, kill some person who could hardly fight back, you know? Like, wow, that's a... Subway. We actually don't have subways where I live. But, uh, regardless, I don't think he'd, like, take on a mission to kill just some random innocent person that has, like, done no killing or has no will to fight back. I think he specifically only wants to fight people. Destroy Man? What is Destroy Man? What is that silhouette even? I'm a little scared. Not gonna lie. I kind of like subway levels just because we don't have subways where I live once again. 
Okay. Oh, hey, there's a poster. What is going on in that poster? Bear Hug Film Studio. I, I don't even... Is that Cats? Is that Cats the movie? Now, how do I play this video game again? I, I don't remember. Wait, that's weird. We just got here and there's already, like, a... Quest marker. How about we explore the subway a little more? I can't tell if our health is upgraded or not. I noticed that the heart inside of our heart changed from purple to another color. I'm assuming that's an upgrade. It's almost a lot more tame than the other ones. Like, a lot of the other levels were just like going through room after room after room, you know, slicing these dudes apart. Wait, where am I? Bear Hug Film Studio. Oh, it's a film studio. I thought this was like a military base. Why are there guys with bags over their heads in here? What is going on? Oh, they have like kitty faces on their- Wow, this really is cats. Alright, new mission. We're stopping the filming of cats before that disturbing thing gets reanimated oddly. I heard the original Cats movie wasn't actually like that bad. Like it was really- Maybe it wasn't a movie, maybe it was like a book or something? I don't know, but whatever the original content was, wasn't that bad. And then, uh, that thing came out, and it made it creepy as hell. I don't know if we have any OG Cats fans in the comment section. But if I do... Oh, I've never seen that one. That was cool. But if we do, you know... Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Why are there- Wait, they're like irradiated. Their hands and feet are green. Enemies with guns are particularly a nuisance to me. They're not unkillable, but I do need to find a way to deal with them. I can always just block them, but... I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be that efficient, especially when there's multiple of them shooting at us. What do you guys think was, like, the best Wii game with, like, the best sword play? I heard Skyward Sword was actually pretty good with it, because it had the Wii Motion Plus. I mean, obviously nowadays, those games are completely stomped by VR games. I'm sorry to say, as in like, in terms of controls, but as a person who's played a lot of VR stuff, um, VR games completely trump things like motion controls, you know, the Wii Motion Plus, it's just... A way better experience for the Wii itself. I heard that Skyward Sword is a pretty good way to go about this whole thing, you know. So this is the third. This is the third time I have been using these motion controls, and I've hit my keyboard and paused the recording. When people don't believe me when I say it's that much harder, it does make things that much harder. Gun enemies just suck to fight. They are not fun. <laughs> I think it's just the fact that they stun lock you so hard. Because, like, when you block something, obviously you should feel like a bit of block stun, so that way it feels like you actually did block something. We have, like, three dudes shooting at you with guns, but once again, it's, it's a little infuriating in some ways, unless there's something I'm missing. Also, the motion controls do not pick that up. I swear, this thing only activates when I've already killed everyone in the entire room. And then it just makes it really hard to walk. Like, I can't even go backwards. I can only go forwards. There we go. Hey, Travis. Your next ranked battle is at the filming studio. Win, and you'll be seventh. Lose, and you're dropping down to an even deeper circle of hell. So, how are you feeling, Travis? Your head feeling better? Relieved yourself lately? Maintaining proper oral hygiene? When you're ready, step inside. 
Some people say it's important to know when to give up. That you shouldn't aim for things that are obviously beyond your grasp. But ignore idiots like that. Don't accept defeat before the first punch has even been thrown. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Did you even hear what I just said? And you call yourself an assassin? This is why third rates like you are hopeless. I am 120% certain you are going to die. All you can do is trust your force and head for the garden of madness. These sound like extremely Japanese, like someone translated some sort of like, I don't know. Some of the lines she's saying are just weird, like trust your force. What? That feels like it was directly translated and it didn't come across very well. But who knows? Travis, remember now, the most fundamental among fundamental suplexes made famous in Calgary. It's the all-natural amusement machine, the German suplex! Yes! I know what that one is. Wait, some of the chests respawn, I just realized. So if you go to the bathroom, you can make health stuff respawn. Interesting. going on in here? Oh, this is a massacre. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't make it here on time. Had to take care of some customers that filed complaints. My apologies. So much to do with so little help. Yeah, I can't stand these people with all their nonsense complaints. They think they can just say anything. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm here. Why I is the screen shaking so much? That's the important thing, right? I take it you're Mr. Eight? You? You're ranked? Not me. Well, actually it is me. Oh, that makes sense. Never mind then. You've got a job to do. But first I need some time to get ready. Would you mind turning the other way? I need some privacy. Privacy? Yes. I need to prepare. Whatever. Don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. I just need you to look the other way for a second. A second? Yes, just a split second. I don't think it's too much to ask. Do you? Then we can get on with our fight. He's totally gonna try and kill us in that second, isn't he? All right. Ah! Whoa! Oh, damn it! What? Whoa! That was close. For a second there, I forgot that you were a killer. Sorry if I scared you. I didn't mean to do that. Something's wrong with me today. I let my guard down. Getting sloppy. I gotta stay on my toes. You mind if I ask you something? Yeah, what is it, Mr. Cosplay? We're both assassins, right? Why do we have to kill each other anyway? If you ask me, it's absolutely meaningless. It's about determining who's best. That's what it's about. Can't argue with that. Well then, let's get started. What? You want to shake hands? Travis, We're both don't do that. Aren't we? Not killers, at least for now. This Travis, he's going to yeet you into the that sun. We respect each other before and after the fight. Good luck. Likewise. Destroy Spark. <laughs> oh, this is great. Is this guy an idiot or what? <laughs> is this a joke? You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, man, you are something. Oh, this is the best. Man, you really cracked me up. <laughs> I think this laughter is going to kill me. I can't wait to kill <laughs> this dude. I think I might really die from laughter. It hurts. Someone help. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, oh shit. I thought I was gonna die there. For real. 
Is this guy really one of the top killers? And look at you. You look like you're dead. I guess it's time for a wake-up call. Destroy town! Whoa, Destroy what? Team? This is where it gets good. Good night. Destroy! That was quite a move. I'll admit you've got potential. If Challenge had a taste, you'd be quite delicious. Fight for the seventh? Yeah, sure. Bring it on! I love a challenge! You're as good as dead. I have a hard time believing this guy is seventh. Like, I'm not saying. I guess it's just because of all the tricks he tried to play. Okay, gotcha. I don't even know how I'd avoid that. Alright, definitely gonna have to try and guard break that. Okay. It's, it showed that I dodged that, and then I got hit anyway. Okay, I can block that. Oh my god, he's taking so little damage. Okay, so I can hit him... I can hit him after some of his big moves, but... God, how do I even dodge that? Oh my god. You'd think with him telegraphing his every move, this would be a lot easier. This one we can always punish, though. Guard break him either. It's best if I stay close to him, minus that one move. Which is that one. Oh, I missed my chance. Alright, I'm getting how to fight him now. I messed up. Destroy me! This guy's moves are also lame. Okay, so the roll does have some iframes because that just hit me. Oh, okay, the guard break does work. Yeah! <laughs> That felt satisfying. What? Don't tell me, is he gonna start flying from the ceiling using freaking cables? Oh my god. I hate when I'm right. Oh, we just have to get him to destroy those. Or no, we have to destroy them ourselves. He's not hitting them. What did that drop? Trying to get out. Weird, in the cutscene they showed it like he could destroy it, but we have to do it ourselves. Oh, we got him. Get down here, buddy. Is 
stature. Oh, if you walk into it, you can still get hit. I need to heal badly. I got stuck on this thing. That's annoying. That's some big damage. We need to get some energy soon, though. There's some. I'm surprised I dodged that. Damn it, I was too close to the wall. I need to go get that healing item. Luckily, he did a destroy spark before I left. Oh, the camera blocked it! Thanks, camera! The camera taketh away, and the camera giveth. Finish this! Or, I thought we would. Woo! That was actually a really fun fight. Ah! Don't cry like that. You're a killer, aren't you? <laughs> Help! What? Help! I can't hear you. Help me! Please! What is this I hear from a seventh ranked killer? Whatever. It's over anyway. Please, help me! There you go! He has nipple guns? What? Oh, man. That dude was a character. He must, like, because his kit... Well, well, he has giant lasers and stuff. I wouldn't say that's, like, assassin material. It's more of the fact that he has, like, this pathetic persona he can fall back on so quickly. You know? That's what got him to the rank he's at now. Sweet. Vitality increase. And there's Silva over there. So the heart did change color. It's yellow now. So I'm guessing it goes... It changes color till it hits red. And then you start... Or till it hits whatever. And then it starts getting bigger. Until you have like a second heart covering this heart. Travis, I'm starting to think that you may be for real. You are now seventh in rank. Hey, when I hit number one, you better be looking your best. No need to pretty up. I want you to see me for who I really am. Serious? Damn. It's making me wonder the way she said that. Is she actually the top one killer? If I'm right on that, don't tell me, obviously. People have a bad habit of me guessing things, and then they'll tell me in the comment section. Um. But she might be the rank one killer the way she said it. She said I'll have to pretty up. So, that's gonna be my theory for now. Is that she's actually number one. And maybe she's just getting Travis to be the best he can so she can have, like, the best fight of her life or something. I don't know. Uh... 
Why does he have a cactus in his house? Um, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. Just calling to let you know that the video you reserved is here. Title is How to Please a Woman in Bed 101 Part 3. Oh, one of the girls here said that you might need a new pillow cover for this one. You know, just for protection. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the 7th UAA rank is now complete. As always, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your ascent. Please transfer the money into the designated account as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a nice day. All right, well... Ooh, the next one's 300,000. Well, let's hop to it. We have a lot of things we need to buy, too. I'm guessing the video store is gonna have some new stuff. I haven't actually checked Area 51 in a while, because I've just kind of... I don't know, they hadn't had any clothes that I really wanted before. New part-time jobs available. You have enough money for the entrance fee- wait, I do? I can just go there? What? How much money do I have? Oh, I actually have 319,000 right now. I could just go and do it, but I'm actually gonna make some money first. I want to go do the uh, new job and make sure I'm all powered up before we go in. What? The new model? Dumbass otaku. What's it look like? Of course it's not done yet. Well, I guess she doesn't have a new sword for us yet, and all the parts... Okay. Well, that's actually kind of a relief. I'm glad I don't have anything I have to buy, because that means I can just... ...spend money towards the next entry fee. Okay, so there are some new t-shirts. Uh, we got a baseball shirt. We got this cool kind of Guns N' Roses lazy-ass tie-dye shirt. We have a Tengu shirt. I actually kind of like that. Uh, we have a giraffe. And these ones are pricey. What's on these? Oh, we can get one with Travis's favorite Animu girl. Okay. We also have, uh... One with a girl booty on it. And... I don't even know what that is. We have a skull. We have a Shazam t-shirt. Dog fight Yokozuna? What? Is that a dog wearing like samurai armor? Harajuku. Viva Mexico. 680 ki kilocalories? Sniper. Love tits. That's a shirt. And it goes back up. Um... Honestly, we- Travis started wearing his Animu Girl shirt, we gotta finish. Um... I don't know. Let's go with this one, it's gonna cost way too much money, but I think it's funny. So it's worth for me. Ooh, these jeans are fancy. I kinda like them, but I- I don't care that much to spend money. I was hoping we could get some, like, ridiculous glasses. What about the jacket? Any, like, really... No, just colors. Take now. Take care now, brother. Take care now, brother. It's funny, because even on, like, the freaking... You know, I love ass or I love tits t-shirts. I can't even tell what's going on on the t-shirt. Because it's just so... The textures from the Wii don't exactly hold up that well. I couldn't even tell what those were at first. Either way. Alright, next stop. Before we even continue is we go to the gym. I know we're spending all of our money before we make it, but that also allows us to see how much money we're gonna need to make. You know. Honestly, I don't like these button mashy mini games. And the only reason I say that is because it's not because of me. I actually can do them just fine. In fact, I excel at button mashing. When I used to play Gears of War, my friends would scream at me whenever we got into a chainsaw duel because I would always win. But um What was I going to say? 
But I do have a friend who has like a muscular disease, and sometimes games do put in these mashy sections where you need to mash a little too hard, and sometimes he just legit cannot do it. And it sucks. But her strength went up, so that's worth it. I know the topic of accessibility comes up a lot in games. And it's like, what is accessibility? And then what is just, you know... ...pandering to people who are just bad at it and don't want to improve. Because there's a complete difference, you know? Like, shooters lately have had the problem of- Yay, our, vit our vitality went up a little bit, so we're done here. Shooters have had the problem recently. Because so m we're getting crossplay with so many things, which is, is it fair to give controller users aim assist, but don't give that to PC users because PC users can hit headshots more reliably, and controller users who are on console are used to aim assist. Like, Halo had the problem, the Halo collection that just came out, where controller users had a huge edge on PC users because they had such heavy aim assist on them. And is that an accessibility thing? So everyone can play, even like... I don't know. Same with, you know, the whole easy mode debacle, which I'm not gonna get too into. Um, I will say my stance on it, however. I will say that, like... Easy modes are not the same thing as accessibility. And by that, what I mean is, there was literally a guy who was playing, like, top-tier fighting games with his feet because he was born without arms. There are people who managed to freaking beat Sekiro... ...without hands, also. So it's like... I don't know. It's a weird argument, but I think at the end of the day, it just comes down to... ...people want to experience a game... But that experience was not meant for their style of casual play, and that's okay. Like, I think that should be it at the end of the day, you know? Like, not everything has to be for you. For example, I don't like roller coasters. I- I can only ride the small ones. Should all the small roller coasters be small? Or should all the roller coasters be small or have, like, a smaller version? Nah, theme parks aren't, like, they don't have to cater to me at all. I can still go to the theme park and do all the other stuff there, like, I can enjoy some cotton candy or go on a different ride, but that big ride and big roller coasters is not meant for me. Anyways, we just bought a new videotape. I'm sorry I went on, like, a little tangent there, but, you know, I hope that that wasn't just a nonsensical rant about nothing. Regardless, though, it's time to go to work. You heard me, kids. It's time to make some money, and by make some money, I mean do this menial job so I can get the real jobs that actually allow us to make any money at all whatsoever. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, lie to you guys here. I'm probably gonna have to use a guide to get all the Lava Cov balls. Because there's no way I'm gonna find them on my own. Like, I'm just straight up gonna end up using a guide if I don't find them by, like, the end of the game. It's just the, it's it's the kind of thing I like to be honest with you guys about because when it comes to collectibles and open world games they can become kind of uh you know you in open world games like this you can spend hours searching for these things and not find them unless there's some sort of tool that's supposed to detect them or something I actually don't know what those orange things are on the map what are those Oh, those are the Lava Cov balls! Oh, I'm so dumb. Of course, Mom. I have not mastered the secret of the first class yet. Third class, man? I have not mastered the secret of the first class yet. It's not too bad. The first rated god will give a hardworking man a little smile. Today's job has been listed. Alright, let's see what bullshit we have to do today. What you got for me? Gas stand? Honestly, that one's not too bad. You just have to fill up cars with gas, you know? It's not picking up trash. Let's sing a song about gas. 
I actually just thought of a song about gas, but I don't want to get copyright by a Japanese Eurobeat company. <laughs> I will BRB. Here we are again. After I, like, spent two hours eating food. Not two hours, but, you know, things happen. The unspoken rules of Santa destroy dictate perseverance. Perseverance leads to money. Which in turn leads to wealth. This world will forever, will forever remain closed to those who do not persevere. The god of gasoline is cruel. Lose your perseverance and you'll burn up. This is what perseverance means, so get working. Alright, so how hard could a gas mini game be, anyways? Gas stand start. Press B to pump gas into the car. Make sure to fill her up just the right amount. That's it? That's the whole thing? Oh, I'm supposed to hold it. I literally didn't put gas in that car. Oh! The alternative is really dangerous. Oh, I just have to get it. It doesn't have to be right on there. It just has to be above that point. Got it. Yes. I get it now. I want to point out that it feels like this meter actually speeds up right at the end. This heart-pounding action of this minigame. Literally on the edge of my seat to know what happens next. Yes. They don't really pay people to do this anymore, do they? I know they used to do this, like, back in the day, and they probably still do in some areas where they have, like, gas attendants come out and fill your car. Like, if you've, all, if you've ever watched, uh, like, Initial D, well, was the second time bringing up Initial D in the same episode. Like, all the people in that show- Oh god, I'm on fire. All the people in that show, maybe not everyone, but a lot of the people in that show work as, like, a gas station attendant, and they go and fill up people's cars for them so they don't have to get out and do it themselves. I bet 25 is, like, the gold star, or the gold medal, which I'm not going to get to reach because i done goofs so many times. Probably got a silver, and I'm going to have to do it again. No, that's a gold. I'm glad they make getting golds on, like, the, uh, the part-time jobs really easy, because it would get really, really frustrating. If, um, you basically had to do these over and over again unless you got, like, the perfect score, you know? Hey, third grader, I've got another job for you. Something a little shadier. Gotcha. Go murder the people. Well, looks like we're gonna have to stop by K Entertainment and see what kind of job we have on our hands. Uh, go on a batting killing spree again? Kill all the enemies within the time limit. Dark side mode will be activated. Mission ends when time runs out. By the way, I, I've heard some people say that, like, a lot of different things on this port. I've heard, like, some people in the comment section are, like, dead set. Like, this port is awful. This is the worst version of this game you could possibly play. And I have other people are like, yeah, it's not so bad. So, I, I mean, I guess it's how much you really depend on the authenticity of the port. You know. Check the point on the map. But I would rather play this port than not be able to play the game at all, or have to shell out hundreds of dollars to get a copy of No More Heroes 1 for the original Wii. Like... As I said, I've been wanting to play these games on the channel for a long time, but even the PS3 version of No More Heroes, uh, which I don't think they even ported the second No More Heroes games to PS3, but even that version is so hard to get. Which oh, this is one where I have to hit the quick time events. Whoa, brutal. I don't actually like, I'm bad at Nintendo game quick time events, because like, I'm so used to like Sony, honestly. 
And it's not like the controllers I can't handle or anything, like... I've known people that switch to, like, a different console's controls, and they can't do it. For some reason, for me, I adapt to it really quickly. Uh, but quick time events in specific, like this one for Nintendo consoles, are probably the hardest for me. Because I'm so used to, like, the standard Sony shape setup. And even at that, I'm used to the Xbox controls when I'm talking about, like, the lettered controls. But the Xbox controls are reversed from how these ones look, just to be different. And it makes everything super confusing. Probably to avoid copyright. Sure, if you want, you could get everyone in the entire building, but I was too slow for that. That's probably still a gold, though, I feel like. Yep, that was a gold. We get 63,000. That's a good sum. I mean, it's actually honestly not that much more than, like, some of the early missions I was doing. But... You know. Beggars can't be choosers. I mean, they can. Literally can't stop me from begging and choosing. I think we have enough of them to talk to him, but I don't know what we'll get for just seven of them. Huh? Oh, what do huh? you want? Uh huh. A bowl. In return, let me teach you something. I don't know what accent this is. Select the technique you want. Memory of three. Memory of demon. Uh, displays the position of enemies on the minimap. Allows a jumping slash to be performed by shaking the left Joy-Con. Allows a dash to be performed by pressing the B button. Oh, these are like real upgrades. Extends dark side mode time limit. I'd never get dark side mode. Increases the range of your grab. That could actually be super useful. Earn bonuses based on your rank. Allows a jumping down attack to be performed. Well, I think all these are super useful, but I always go for the thing that gives me bonuses first. Like mission bonuses. Even if it makes missions a little harder. You ready? May tickle just a smidge. <laughs> What is going on? Learn technique of mystery. You got that? Technique is yours and yours alone. Come back and you collected some balls. Keep practicing. Well, I'm probably gonna go around in my free time, honestly, and just get all of them. There's quite a few of them out there, but I think it's definitely one of those things I could do while I'm just like watching TV or doing something mindlessly, you know? Either way, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys for tuning in today to see me kill Destroy Man, who honestly was a very different type of killer from the rest, you know? All the rest we've like seen so far are pretty like honorable and down with it, quote unquote honorable. Shinobu killed some ladies who did absolutely nothing, but by that I mean like when it came to a fight, they were ready to just fight us head on. Uh, but he was a different style. And honestly, I didn't expect the superhero gimmick to come along with that. But either way, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. See you next time, right now.